previously on Latitude Adjustment. We took you guys sailing with us through the beautiful waters of the Saronic Gulf in Greece. And sadly, we did have to leave Greece, but we were excited because we were headed for Italy. And our first stop was Rome, which we were really excited about. We only had one night there, um, but we got up really, really early the first day and we um, went sightseeing by foot. So we walked around all day for hours and we saw everything from the Colosseum um, to Parliament to the Pantheon and it was just really beautiful. We really enjoyed it um, and we were glad that we actually got to see most everything um, in our little loop that we did by foot. So after our long day of sightseeing, we headed for the train station, which I was really excited about because I've never actually ridden a train before. And we took the train through the Tuscan countryside and we headed for Venice. We ended up sitting beside some really nice guys from Turkey who didn't speak a whole lot of English, but they were very kind and offered us some of their fresh pistachios, so we in turn offered them a little bit of our cold beer that we got from the food cart that's in the back of the train. So we finally arrived in Venice and we were just astounded. Um, we really fell in love with Venice and we just loved everything about it from the canals to just the architecture and the food. We, we really indulged ourselves and ate pizza pretty much every day that we were there. Um, but we didn't feel bad about it because of course it was vacation um, and everything was just really delicious. So we definitely splurged a little bit. So we really just spent our time in Venice walking around and sightseeing, visiting a little local markets and just really eating and drinking whatever we wanted. And when we were kind of done exploring, we decided that we wanted to take a gondola ride. So we found a really funny driver whose name was Bruno and he showed us the, the sights of the city and also made some pretty funny noises while we went along. So after our gondola ride, we of course indulged in our last meal in Venice, which was pizza and gelato. And then we had to take a water taxi that was um, going to take us to the um, main island where the Venetian airport is located. And we had some pretty beautiful views of the sunset and also some pretty interesting docking experiences along the way there.
red dog. We hated to leave Venice because we really fell in love with that city. Um, but the next morning we got up really, really early and we headed from Venice to Frankfurt where of course we had to have some bratwurst at 9 a.m. in the airport. And then we went from Frankfurt to Miami and then ultimately to St. Augustine where we started prepping the boat for her journey south. So join us next week as we take you through what we did to get the boat ready and we head down to the Keys. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and for all of your support. If you want to get a little Christmas shopping done early, be sure to check out my website. Um, I make handmade jewelry and it's kind of what is funding our cruising kitty for now. Um, and also if you want to follow us in our daily lives, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks again for following us and hope you'll tune in next week. Bye now.